In the past hour, the Des Moines Diocese revealed the names of nine priests with substantiated claims of sex abuse against children. The priests all served between 1950 and 1990. Good afternoon, everyone. You saw the news conference live here on KCCI. Hannah Hilliard was there. She's live with details of these accusations. Hannah. Well, Rhea, this all kind of unfolded in the last hour here downtown and uh, Rich, uh, Bishop Richard Pates began today's news conference apologizing to the victims for all the pain and suffering that they have been going through for decades now wrapped up in all of these cases. Now of those nine names that were released just an hour ago, the diocese has already publicly discussed seven of them. So we knew seven of those names already, but the two new names include Paul Conley, who had one substantiated allegation against him several decades ago. He died in 2007. The other is Dennis Mangan, who had two substantiated allegations dating back to the 1960s, and he died in 1976. Now, of those nine names, there are two that are still alive. One is at a retirement community in Harlan, Iowa. The other is living with a relative in southeast Iowa, but that exact town or exact city is not known at this time, and we're working on finding out where exactly he lives. The diocese says they have received reports from victims since they founded a charter for the protection of children and young people back in 2002, but all of those allegations also date back to decades ago. I am sorry. We care about the people who were hurt. And to the best of our ability, we want to prevent it from happening again. We can never fully understand the pain that victims and families have experienced. Now, the bishop says they can't begin to apologize without making some reform, and that is what today was all about. He says that releasing these names is a, a, a chance to be transparent and continue to make changes so this does not happen again. Now, again, we've only had these names for a little bit of time at this point, about an hour, so we'll continue to dig in and learn more about these priests and bring you the latest as we have it at 5 and 6. But for now, reporting live in downtown Des Moines, Hannah Hilliard, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.